What's up, guys? Due to a very high requests, we are going to be doing a Natty or Not on Isaiah Miranda. Now, initially, this video was going to be on Isaiah Miranda, his blood work that he had recently produced, which we're going to jump into in a moment, but it kind of transitioned into the Natty or Not video and what I'm going to cover because it surfaced a lot of information and actually led to Isaiah Miranda removing his YouTube video. That's how severe it got. So when we look at Isaiah Miranda's Instagram page here, here's his username. If you guys in case want to check it out, maybe want to give him a follow. He has a crazy physique. I mean, he's extremely lean, a lot of pictures. There's only a couple videos, but he also does have a YouTube channel, but he looks phenomenal. I mean, definitely dialed, definitely diced. If he was natural, he would have very low levels due to just the way he looks year round, which led him into his YouTube video where, this isn't the video by the way, he removed it, but he was getting his blood work done at Bradley Martin's TRT clinic, I believe is what it is. Bradley Martin opened like a TRT uh, cryotherapy, opened his own clinic, and Isaiah Miranda being an influencer went in to check his levels because he felt like he had a low sex drive for his age, which he is 21, and yada, 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 the story goes on and on, was experiencing all the symptoms. So what does he do? He goes into Bradley Martin's TRT clinic, gets his levels checked, and it comes back with his levels at 21 NG slash DL. For those of you who don't know what it is, it's nanograms per deciliter, and that's how they measure basically your testosterone that is within all the blood work. So a normal range, if you were to look at a majority of the population, is going to be around close to 700 NG slash DL. Um, you can see people as low as like 270 all the way up to 1,000, probably even above for some genetically gifted individuals. But for the average male, it's going to be seven or sorry, 679 or close to 700. Now, <laughs> the best part is Isaiah Miranda's levels came back at 21, 21 NG slash DL, 21 nanograms per deciliter of testosterone within this man's blood looking like this. So, of course, he's going to be experiencing a low sex drive. Why? Because his levels are so incredibly low. If we jump back to that normal range, the lowest they even mark on here, and this is from medicinenet.com, 270. I'm sure there's plenty of articles and research studies out there that are going to show different ranges. But 270 is what they have as the low end. He's at 21. Now, the reason this is such a popular thing, it's not that he's so incredibly you know, in a low range and he needs prescription testosterone. If you look at him, most people that are just getting into fitness or been in fitness would probably guess he's not natural due to the way he looks year round. But it's definitely an achievable physique. I would say if you're doing like a contest prep naturally and you diet down for a short period of time, you get into the low body fat range. He doesn't have a ton of size. He's a short guy. He doesn't have a ton of muscle mass, but he is incredibly lean. And the biggest thing is he's like Tristan Lee where he's incredibly shredded year round if you, i mean i'm scrolling back in this profile and i'm sure he posts every day so it's probably only a week ago but he's diced so i give him props on obviously being diced but that's not what's in question here he claims natural and this is the nad you are not so for his levels coming back at 21 i'm not going to say that's a hundred percent the case that no one can ever have a 21 nanogram per deciliter result for their testosterone levels but it's so incredibly slim. And for him, I don't see that at all being possible due to the way he looks. You could not, at least in my opinion, look how he does with his physique if he was naturally having 21 nanograms per deciliter on his blood work. Just not possible in my opinion. So what I think happened is our boy Isaiah Miranda wanted to get, do what everyone does. I did this and I'm going to give a little backstory. He wanted to get prescribed testosterone. He didn't want to have to do the black market underground, get it from Bradley Martin, everyone's dealer. No, I'm just kidding. But he didn't want to have to go the route of going underground. He just wanted it prescribed super easy. He wanted to get his blood work done. He wanted to show the doctor that his levels were so remarkably low that he needed testosterone. Urgent, stat, he needed a high dose of testosterone to continue doing what he's doing and live a normal life, have a sex drive. So who knows whether his whole story, I would love to show you guys and react to his video. But like I mentioned, he took it down. And I was planning on making a video on this to whether he actually was experiencing a low sex drive or whether he was just saying that to conform to the story of helping him get prescribed testosterone. I do want to say, guys, 
That is not the strategy if you wanna actually get prescribed testosterone. I personally did this. I tried the same exact thing. And what happens is I took a bunch of things to naturally crash my testosterone levels because for those of you who are unaware, when you take a cycle, when you are taking compounds, you are naturally gonna just basically stop your test production, which is why it requires post-cycle therapy, PCT, you probably heard it called, to recover your natural levels to where they're supposed to be unless you're doing like a blasting cruise or you're on TRT, hormone replacement therapy, testosterone replacement therapy. So with my story, I intentionally crashed my levels and I went into a doctor like, hey doc, I have a low sex drive. I feel weak. I don't have a lot of energy. I'm lethargic all the time. I think it's low testosterone. I'd like to get blood work. Do you know what the doctor <laughs> told me? Every doctor is gonna do this as a general doctor that isn't specialized in testosterone and in hormone therapy. They're gonna tell you, you're a fit young male, 21 years old, you do not need testosterone, you don't need blood work, everything is fine. Guaranteed every doctor, I shouldn't say every doctor, but majority of normal doctors that most of these people are gonna to go to with this strategy are gonna say the same exact thing. You're gonna be wasting your money going to do a consultation, doing an appointment, asking the doctor to do blood work and prescribe you testosterone. They're not gonna do it, okay? So don't think this is a way to do it. He did it because it's Bradley Martin's clinic. I'm sure they would actually prescribe him testosterone because he crashed his level so low. But like I mentioned, it has to be a doctor that is specialized in hormones. Your average run-of-the-mill doctor at your local clinic or checkup isn't going to do it. I tried it. It doesn't work. This was many, many years ago. So is he natural? I don't think so. Just based on this. And I think that's why he removed his video is he saw it as incriminating evidence. And a lot of people were bringing it into question. Not only myself, I believe more police, more dates made a video on this. I'm pretty sure Greg Doucette has probably made a video on this by this point. It was just a huge red flag because he, from what I can see, Look at this dude. Would you look at this? Now I understand it's a picture. It's probably touched up like crazy. Best lighting, best angles, you know, totally manipulating a photo. But would you think this is natural? I would hope not. <laughs> so I believe he was taking cycles, intentionally crashed his levels so that he could get prescribed testosterone and do it a legal way, not illegal. He wanted to do it the legal way. So get everything prescribed. It's super easy that way. You get your levels checked, which by the way, I do want to recommend no matter what, if you are on cycle, never taking a cycle, debating, taking a cycle, go get your blood work done, get your levels checked, see where you're at, see how healthy you are. You can get your testosterone, your estrogen, get your prolactin levels. You can get your liver enzymes, just all encompassing blood panel to see how you are internally, especially if you're on gear. If you are on gear, I a hundred percent always recommend doing before your cycle, during your cycle, after your cycle, get your blood work. But the topic of today, Isaiah Miranda, is he natural? I don't think so, just based off of looking at his physique. I do think his physique is achievable naturally for a short period of time. If, like I mentioned, you're doing a natural bodybuilding competition and you follow the right protocol and diet to cut down, but his body fat percentage is not healthy to be at year round unless you are on compounds. So and I'm not saying that's healthy, but that's how he is maintaining it, at least from what I can see. Because to crash your levels to 21 nanograms per deciliter, I also want to throw in guys, when I did my cycles for my contest prep, my levels were nowhere near as low as 21 nanograms per deciliter. I was still at around 100, just above 100. I think it, off the top of my head, it was like 121, somewhere in the 120s. 120 nanograms per deciliter, let's say off the top of my head. His is 21. And I was taking some like pretty crazy stuff back then when I was doing my contest prep and it worked phenomenal. But 21, I would assume either he has genetics that completely shut him down from whatever he is taking or doing, but the slim chance he is potentially natural and genetically just has that low of levels. I just don't think that's possible just based on looking at him because he would have essentially zero testosterone within his body for his entire life is what it would look like at the age of 21. Now at 21, you should really be starting to peak your levels through like your early 20s. You should be incredible, almost like you're on cycle without being on cycle because your hormones are still ramping up and picking up to your genetic potential. For him to be at 21, it just screams to me that he intentionally did it to get prescribed testosterone. I can't say that emphasis enough but it makes sense and I get why he removed his video. But the problem is he claims natural. And now 
I, at least in my opinion, I think he honestly needs to open up about being unnatural to his fans. He owes it to them because th you just can't lie like that. Like people need to be able to see through it. I mean, if we look at his video here, I didn't even notice the dislike bar. I think people are probably disliking it because of the fact that he removed his last video and he's trying to hide it. He doesn't have the biggest following on YouTube. It looks like he just started his YouTube career, but I think he's on TikTok and Instagram more so, but 11,000 subscribers. But you're not starting off your YouTube career in a good way because people respect and flock to transparency, honesty. They just want you to be open. I'm, I'm sure people wouldn't really hate on you, man. Isaiah, if you're watching this, if you said that you weren't like natural, I don't think people would discredit you or hate on you for it. In fact, they would probably applaud you and respect you more for talking about and being open about it. now i'm not saying you need to say exactly what you're taking and doing but just don't claim natural because you're trying to sell basically a fake dream to your followers and your subscribers and let's say i mean i don't know his instagram 258,000. he has pretty good interaction 29,000 likes 400 comments so he's making a lot of impressions on people and i assume it's a young demographic just based on his age and the content he's producing you can see him working out at zoo culture now bradley martin careful who you're dealing with <laughs> um young demographic though so you just really need to be transparent because uh, this industry man it just it drives me fucking crazy but i just wanted to cover again guys the normal ranges are close to like 700 nanograms per deciliter he measured in at 21 a flat 21 absolutely crazy i was hoping there was a re-upload of the video on uh youtube that someone potentially downloaded it and re-uploaded it once he removed it but i don't think he has a big enough following for that to happen yet because i did want to react to what he said and what he was saying with his like low sex drive and everything like that i do believe he probably did experience it when he came off of whatever he was taking and his levels were then at the 21 nanograms per deciliter but I also think he was playing into the whole role, trying to say as many symptoms as he possibly could so he could get prescribed the testosterone. I, you can only imagine the amount of DMs I get per day of people saying they want to be prescribed testosterone or they're like, Kenny, where do I go to get testosterone? How do I get prescribed this? What do I do? Where do I, you know, acquire this, this and that? And it really boils down to you need to go to a doctor that specializes in hormones. Okay, don't go to your general doctor. Don't go where you go and get your physical done or where if you get the common cold, you go to get prescribed some medicine or get checked up, anything like that. They are gonna tell you, and I have experienced this firsthand, learn from my mistakes. They're just gonna tell you you are a young, healthy male, especially if you have body hair. I have body hair. He's like, yo, Kenny, you got good body hair growth. You're a taller guy. You got some muscle mass. Your, your testosterone levels are totally fine. Didn't check me at all, okay? He didn't even write up an appointment for me to go get blood work. He just assumed I had natural testosterone or like a good normal range of testosterone levels. Guarantee that's going to happen for majority of people if they go to a normal doctor. Now, if you go to, like I mentioned, a hormone doctor, you're much better at getting that accomplished. Not to say your levels are going to be low, but don't ever try doing this strategy of just intentionally crashing your testosterone levels so you can get prescribed testosterone. That's like the most retarded thing I think you could ever possibly do because first off, why would you want to do that? He's 21 trying to go on to testosterone, which is essentially from my view and my eyes, something you should deem as a lifelong commitment. Once you start TRT, you should know you want to be on TRT for the rest of your life. You're going to be injecting every week, if not twice a week to split up your dosage. It's not something a 21 year old should want to do. If he was taking things, which I assume he was to crash his levels to 21, he should just run a post cycle therapy PCT get his levels back to where they should be naturally. But this whole TRT HRT like phenomenon that is going on, everyone thinks that's the magic. Most TRT doctors, unless they are a bodybuilder themselves are just going to prescribe you a normal range to get you in the nanogram per deciliter range, which would put you into a normal male range of the 670, 679, maybe a little above, a little elevated, unless like I mentioned, it's a bodybuilding doctor, then they'll prescribe you something higher where you go above the average male. But this whole like testosterone replacement therapy, it's the next thing, everyone needs to do it. Don't do it unless you absolutely need it, not intentionally trying to crash your levels to do it, okay? 
that is my biggest advice. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Natty or not on Isaiah Miranda. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. By the way, if you are subscribed to the channel or if you are not subscribed to the channel, either way, please subscribe. Make sure to turn on post notifications though next to the subscribe button. That is the most important, even more so than subscribing. That way you get notified when I upload my next video. Isaiah Miranda, is he Natty or not? I would say he is not Natty. Definitely not Natty, especially his testosterone levels of 21 nanograms per deciliter. Isaiah Miranda, please be careful. Guys, learn from his mistakes. Learn from everyone's mistakes. Build your own path. Make sure to be careful, and I'll catch you guys all in the next one.